A visit to the 1820 house means a chance to experience globally inspired cuisine, and restaurant regulars have no problem picking their favorite dish. I love the lamb. I just get something new every time. The tenderloin. Uh, the escargot. I like the Caesar salad. The tuna. The filet. He's got this clam thing. From French fries to veal and lobster piccata, you can find it all at this Skinny Atlas hotspot. I love this community. I love these people that come in here. I love the people that I work for and I work with. Um, this is what small town USA is. We're starting to get back into the season a little bit. Owner and master chef Richard Schreiner handles the cooking in the back. Ground pepper, anyone? His partner Christy Hazelwood takes charge of the dining room. And while many people here may know about the food, very few know the story above the kitchen. Two lives in one house. Upstairs, it's our family. Down here, it's work. I mean, we're still family, but it, I mean, just go up those stairs and it's completely two different worlds. Nate, Max, and Quinn. The name of Rich and Christie's other business is Mom and Dad. I think that we're very um, private people, so we don't advertise our life upstairs, but we've definitely dealt with some things I don't think people would even begin to imagine. Right. <laughs> the couple's 21-month-old daughter has vocal cord paralysis and requires nurse care 18 hours a day. It was an unexpected turn seven months into a healthy pregnancy and still a mystery unsolved things just started going wrong. She wasn't growing, she wasn't where she should be, and then she had these spurts and everything was fine, and then, I don't know, basically they told us that once she was born, everything would be fine, and that was not the case <laughs> at all. <laughs> Instead, baby Quinn spent three months in the NICU on and off ventilators. Eventually, doctors decided to put in a trach so she could finally go home and all was well into a virus last spring changed everything. She's been on steroids for last year, she's on oxygen, she now has a feeding tube because she started aspirating, she couldn't swallow anymore, so all these things just because of this one little itty bitty virus. But despite all this little girl's been through, yeah. she still finds a reason to smile. After nearly two years of frequent hospital visits with one child, the family received yet another piece of shocking news. Rich had to tell his 12-year-old son that what he thought was a sinus infection was actually lymphoma, a form of cancer. He kept saying, what, 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 what? And uh, it was, uh, you never ever want to do that. But, uh, and then you had to convince him for five minutes after that that he wasn't going to die. And that, that was the hardest part. But he's been a trooper. He's been absolutely amazing. So. We're all good. I'm a survivor. I just don't really worry about it. Like, try not to think about it. Think about the positive things. He's been very strong, very stoic. Just everything's yeah. good, everything's fine. Yeah. Can I this get is a kid now? that used to so. freak out getting a flu shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I played that at my friend's house. After seven weeks of chemo, six spinal taps, and lots of support, Nate is nearing the finish line. In honor of his cancer journey, friends shaved their heads to raise money for a cure. Knowing that I had a choice to do it and the kids who have cancer do not have a choice was just a very, an overwhelming sense of just showing solidarity. And for the people who've become more than just customers, Rich and Christie's perseverance puts life in a different perspective. The fact that they keep moving forward I don't know, I think about it all day, especially when I'm at work and I have a, I work in customer service. When I have a bad call, I think of them. Like, you know what, this ain't nothing. We know that, you know, we're fighting cancer, we da da da, but just, we try to just kind of live, you know, normally, as much as you can, you know. From the outside looking in, you may never know, but behind the little red door at the 1820 house lives a family who carries great strength from sun up to sundown. In Skinny Atlas, Chanel Terry, NCC News.